Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay video for you guys today with a little bit of a twist. Today, I'm playing on Next Gen. I'm going to show you guys uh, some offense and some defense that I'm using on Next Gen uh, because I'm getting so many requests in the comment section for it. I got people asking me pretty much every day, you got something for Next Gen? You got something for Next Gen? You got plays for Next Gen? You got offense? You got defense? Huh? Huh? Do you? Do you? Do you? And I pretty much always respond the same way. I use the same stuff in uh, Next Gen that I use on Old Gen. To me, it all pretty much works the same and I'm going to try to prove that in this video. There's a few small things that are different. I'm going to point them out when it comes to uh, old gen and next gen. I'll point out the most important ones. But for the most part I'm going to use the exact same stuff. Uh, before I get into the video though, like I said, I want to show you guys uh, my setup because I want to show you my team. I want to keep you guys up to date on my team. Loving the new squad. I basically just went out and finished the uh, Tyree Kill uh, set so I got a bunch of new uh, Kansas City players pretty much all in that. That I'm totally cool with because I had a 25 uh, Kansas City 25 Washington setup anyway. Most important important thing on the defensive side though without a doubt I think that you want to make sure that you have um, these four things if you're going to run the defense that I'm going to show you guys today have an acrobat and mid zone KO on both your starting safeties and both your starting cornerbacks that's probably the most important thing when it comes to my particular defense I also have zone hawk on as many guys as I possibly can as well if you guys want to get 5% off of my coins to get your team up like mine check out MMOXP.com link in the description below and use discount code money shot to get 5% off getting right into the gameplay I mean my first three cards have been the same for months now uh, my opponent looks like he has an all Kansas City Chiefs theme team you're gonna see that throughout the gameplay but we definitely have a good opponent I'm gonna make a confession here I actually thought that this was a regular man game I didn't know I was on next gen until I saw this it was at this moment that he knew he f if you guys don't know, if you don't have a next-gen console, there's two different versions of the game. You have to choose which one to play at the menu screen, and there's nothing really separating the two of them. The only thing that lets you know you're on next-gen is a small X and an S symbol, which isn't even there on the original home screen. That's it! It looks like EA blew their budget in the graphics department to update this uh, cover art, huh? You suck! Getting into the gameplay, I'm running the exact same offense that I've been putting out plays from pretty much all week, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over the full house. Uh, because I am running the pistol playbook it's pretty much my new favorite offense but I've been putting out so much content from it so if you caught those videos I'm not going to waste your time in this particular video and if you didn't catch those videos I'll have a link in the description so you can catch up on all the stuff that I'm not going to go over in this particular play but I'm going to try to stick to new offensive plays I'm going to try to stick uh, to defense for the most part because that's kind of the focal point of this video but the main play uh, for this formation is definitely the halfback counter you can see it works just the same on next gen as it did on old gen as we get a very big run lane there as we almost score we get to about 10 yards out down the next play uh, he comes through with a furious uh, user rush <laughs> So on the next play, second and 22, I think I had a window here, but ultimately I probably should have uh, lobbed it. Oops. I think if I would have lobbed it there, I probably would have had a touchdown, but I bullet pass probably because of the heat the previous play, uh, but he's going to get ball. Can't beat that psychic defender though. Some they said they patched out in like Madden 17. Bullshit. So on defense, I'm going to start off with the exact same plays that I've pretty much been running. I'm going to match his two tight end set. I typically run cover four quarters. That's pretty much what I'm used to, running cover four quarters in various different defenses. Here I'm going to use the 4-3 normal, one of my personal favorite. I think it's one of the better run-stopping defenses you can see on the very first play. Nope. He gets a stop. Uh, he might have got a yard there. Second play, he comes out in a three wide receiver set. I'm going to come out matching cover four drop out of the 3-3-5. This is pretty much my setup. This has pretty much been the setup that I've been running for several months now. I put out a lot of videos about it. They've been successful, and I've had a lot of very positive feedback of people that have worked for them as well. Uh, first two plays though, he does get the first down. On the next play, I decide to use the cover three cloud. This is another play that I put out. It's pretty much the three plays that I use the most on my defense. Uh, and at the end of the video, I'm going to break down the difference between, uh, you know, what my opponent does against these three plays compared to what they do against some of the newer plays that I try to run uh, in what's considered next gen. On the next play though, gotcha, bitch. I get a hell of a user lurk here and we're coming back with the ball the other way. So, on the offensive side, we're going to hit him with a couple of uh, passing plays here. 
here. Here, he's in pretty much a uh, tight man. Looks like he'd have one step ahead on just about everybody. But he's not covering the running back, though. So we're going to take that guy in the flat. He's way too far off. What? Where you going? And we're going to pick up a first down. That doesn't really matter on that play. But in a future play, it's going to make a big difference. So on third and 10, I'm going to come out in my cross drag play, which this is without a doubt one of my favorite plays to run right now. It's also one of my favorite goal line plays. But on this next play, I thought that if I motion this guy out and put him on a streak, that he wouldn't follow. And obviously, he did not. Uh, get locked. As he races over there. Break yourself, fool! He could go all the way! So on the defensive side, uh, we're going to run cover three. Cover three is like the new meta. It's something that a lot of people are running since the patch. Uh, so it's a defense that I'm going to try to run uh, because since the patch, most people don't know how to beat this defense. It's really become basically like cover four on steroids. So I'm going to run this a few times. Like I said, this is not necessarily a uh, defense that I've ever really run before. On the first play, I man, I pretty much just missed a tackle there Oops. as he beats me on a screen. Uh, on the next play, we're hitting with the hard flats. Uh, this is obviously not going to work. I mean, he might have had something right to seem there. Uh, but he basically, you know, bad adjustment by me he gets another first down he's going right down the field on me next play second and ten i'm going to run this exact same play the entire length of the field and i'm just waiting for it to kick in i'm waiting for this good defense to kick in but sure enough on the next play I mean, he gets a really lucky animation he scores from about 30 yards out what? so that defense didn't work very good on the first series on the second series like i said right back to my offense i haven't really found too many things that cover this route this is one of my favorite passing plays in this formation right here uh it just gets opening it's just about everything i've found so far at least and despite this being a very uh, run heavy offense i really find a lot of really great pass plays in this as you can see right here we dot him up for another really big play uh, and we're moving man we're going right down the field then with 25 seconds left i'm gonna go to my go-to uh goal line play my go-to red zone play that's the cross drag one more time this can be a one play touchdown from 50 yards out or it's an unstoppable play uh from about seven yards out which is where i'm at i'm just gonna motion this running back out do the exact same thing put him on a slant but i'm going to hit this a route right between the two safeties get locked He's even right in front of the tight end, but it's not going to matter because he's not going to follow the tight end. He lets the tight end go, and we get a super easy touchdown because nobody covers that route for something. It's the easiest way to score in the game. So with 21 seconds left, my opponent's going to get the ball back now. We're going to go right back to that cover three because I know that this cover three post patch is supposed to be damn near impossible to hit a one-play touchdown against. At least most people don't know how to, but on the very next play, he runs a play stock. He makes no changes at all, and it just runs right past my 97 overall safety. What? Uh, who's probably one of the best safeties in the entire game. I don't know what that was. What the fuck? But he's going to score, so that's pretty much it. I'm done with cover three. It's pretty obvious that either this guy has a play that beats cover three, which I really doubt the slot fork is that good, uh, because like I said, he made no adjustments at all. I watched the play over and over. There was no adjustments made, which pretty much means that EA put the same amount of time into patching cover three on next gen as they did the cover art that we talked about earlier. That's terrible. So with 12 seconds left, I'm hoping that he kicks the ball out the back of the end zone so I can have as much time as possible to try to score or not. Obviously, he's just going to kick it, you know, short so that I have to return it. So now I only got 10 seconds, but you know what? That's plenty of time, right? So here, I'm going to come out. This is one of my more explosive plays in this formation, at least post-patch. The PA counter waggle. Uh, this play here, I mean, this is a very big play. I'm going to try to hit the Y route, but he's in a cover three deep. So I'm just going to take this first read. I'm going to take this wide open uh, drag here. And sure enough, I mean, he's playing far enough back that I get within field goal range. I'm at the 39, and I have one of the best kickers in the game. So we go down the field in eight seconds and we take a lead before half. Then second half, I'm done with that cover three. I'm not using that anymore. Mm. They obviously didn't patch that, so I'm going to go right back to the cover three cloud. This play still works. Uh, I'm going to run it the exact same way that I always have. And on the very next play, me, he gets me, he dots me up on the first down. But, you know, I mean, that's, you know, you're not going to stop everything. But ultimately, the first drive where I ran these defenses, where I ran this cover four that I'm running right now, again, uh, I pretty much shut him down. You see on the next play on third inches, got the hard flats out there and sure enough nope. we get the stop once again so this is without doubt the best defense then a fourth and inches though he goes for it again uh and i try to take away the flats one more time but he has a little bit of a deeper route <laughs> That's going to happen if you're hard flat. So sure enough, like I said, I mean, I'm still doing better. I still feel like I'm doing better. Then we get down to uh, the red zone. And this is really where this defense pays off anyways. Pretty much everything is locked. Gotcha, bitch. And we're coming back with an interception. Maybe we should have stayed in the end zone, though, because you can see even 99 speed Deion Sanders is like he's running in molasses. And so on the next offensive series, like I said, we're going right back to that uh, that drag, uh, that cross drag play. It's so money. And this Y route here, I mean, like I said, this here, I could add a one play touchdown. What? 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 
but I got a little too crazy on the sticks. So we'll take a big play though. We'll take, uh, you know, flipping the field in one play. Then I'm going to go to the PA counter waggle once again. They also have a really good halfback counter play. I mean, these are two very good plays from this formation, but I'm going to start off with that PA counter waggle because this is a play. I mean, he saw it coming a mile away because I just beat him with it. Oh, he almost had it. But he was on a linebacker and the linebacker is just not fast enough to keep up with my receivers. You better be quicker than that. So we're definitely going to get a first down there. Then, like I said, that counter play is also very productive as we're going to run down the next play. As he's coming out much smaller packages now to try to stop these pass plays but you know what this is a running playbook if you're not going to respect the run i'm going to pound it down your throat and that's what i do in the very next play as we almost get a touchdown almost broke out of that on the next play we're going to hit him with the uh the zone replay like i said if you saw this breakdown it's going to work exactly the same way although on this play here i just don't take it wide because his user defender went out wide i just take it short and we get an easy touchdown so on the defensive side we're going to hit him with some dollar stuff because in, in next gen i feel like you need more speed on the field so i'm going to try based on the fact that i'm up 10 with two minutes left I'm gonna try to come out with more speed. Once again, this is a, a thought process that should make sense as far as next gen goes. Uh, I'm hitting with a cover four on the first play. He beats me, uh, you know, for a couple of yards there. And then on the next play, we're still in that cover four, cover four drop, not cover four match. Because like I said, I personally love cover four match. I've never really been a big fan of cover four drop. And sure enough, he beats me on the next play as well. So two plays in a row, cover four drop, not really working out. I'm gonna try to hit him with a little bit of a, a blitz here though, which is something I'm working on. And another theory that a lot of people think you really gotta send heat when it comes to next gen. So I'm gonna try to send some corner blitzes. I'm gonna try to send some heat first play, not really working out. He's picking it up. <laughs> Leaves me wide open over the middle. Once again, that cover three is doing nothing for me. I switch over to a cover two, trying to send the exact same blitz, trying to get a little pressure off the edge. And sure enough, I'm mean, leaving some guys wide open over the middle. That was my user. I mean, even with the extra speed, it didn't really help me out. Then on first and goal, about 50 seconds left, hit him with that same cover two one more time. And sure enough, it finally comes up gold. Gotcha, bitch. As we get an interception to basically end the game uh, up 10 with about 40 seconds left. So that's the game give you guys a little bit of a stat comparison between um, you know the basic defenses that I've been running and putting out videos for on old gen versus you know basically the defenses I tried to run uh, that represent what people think you need to do on next gen uh, and the stats are they're not even close uh, when I ran my normal defenses that I've been running on old gen for several months uh, my opponent was five for nine for 69 yards and two interceptions when I tried to run the uh, the new um, you know stuff the new post patch stuff the new uh, you know next gen stuff uh, I was my opponent was 9 for 12 for 212 yards two touchdowns and an interception so I think this proves without a shadow of the doubt that if you're playing new gen old gen doesn't really matter use the exact same defenses that I've been putting out the cover four stuff the three three five stuff uh, the cover three cloud all those are still the best defenses when it comes to whatever system you're running and then the offense ran pretty much exactly the same so I'm gonna end the video there if you guys want to see more next gen gameplay like this uh, future videos do me favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below